Sure has been a while since any of the big three automakers had what you could call a great year, but they hope things begin to roll their way, starting with the Detroit Auto Show, which opens today. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds is in Detroit with a look at things to come. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Harry. Well, I think it's no exaggeration to say that this car show is the most significant the big three U.S. automakers have ever attended. Though the floor is quiet now, the auto show expects 700,000 visitors during its run, and the hope is some will be customers. When you consider the fact that our automakers have been through probably the toughest year in their history in 2009, this is definitely a watershed moment. According to auto data, Chrysler sales for 2009 were down 36 percent. GM was also down 30 percent. Ford posted a huge increase in December, up 33 percent, but was still down for the year. Ford is best positioned with a line of popular cars that should carry the company to profitability next year, and they have gadgets galore inside. One car parks itself. There's a lot of really cool features coming out. GM is leaner this year with only Buick, Chevy, GMC, and Cadillac models in this post-bankruptcy period. How well the smallish but mileage-conscious Chevy Cruze is received is vital. And GM is also banking on the Chevy Volt electric car with mileage, it says, of 230 miles per gallon. As for Chrysler, its new parent Fiat is basically asking for patience as it merges its smaller product line with Chrysler's. A new Jeep is coming out, but little else. Now, the foreign competition has not been standing still. Subaru, for example, had its best sales year ever last year in the U.S., and Hyundai sales have been on fire for months. So there is clearly a market out there if only the American automakers can find it. Gary? Yeah, Dean, as you suggest, Ford certainly has been on a roll, which must mean there's really extra pressure on GM. What are they, what are they banking on? What are they counting on? Well, as I say in the piece, the cruise is important, the Volt is important, but it's really the Equinox, their crossover, which had sales 121% in December, above December a year ago. Wow. So they are counting on that car, and they see that as a ray of sunshine that could lead them out of the darkness. All right, Harry? Dean Reynolds, live in Detroit this morning at the Big Auto Show. Do appreciate it, sir. Thanks so much.